what the hell is Janine Pirro talking about? I, I think that's one of the great questions of our age, in many ways. I think we're all seeking an answer to that question. Um, I still haven't figured it out. She seems to, whatever it is she's trying to say, she says it very loudly and in short bursts. It's adorable. Um, thanks, Ziggy. I hope I'm funny every morning, it's just whether I'm on or not. Um, now, I, perhaps we'll find out. But her, her big complaint today, apparently, according to our first video, and welcome, yeah, I'm diving right in, is uh, Judge Deneen slams the Biden administration. Are you stupid or crazy? I mean, these are two, let's be honest. If somebody, hold on, I have to move this over here. Um, if somebody's going to ask the Biden administration if they're stupid or crazy, I would want it to be Janine Pirro because these are two uh, distinct categories she's quite familiar with. These are, I mean, if anybody knows stupid and crazy and the, you know, and, and the varying degrees within each, it's our, our buddy Judge Janine. Um... Looking well-rested, a little thready in the throat, a little severe, but hey, nothing a little uh, Vaseline lens filter won't fix, right? Nothing a little, one of those specialty cameras that makes y'all look all caramely, is it right? They have that. Um, thanks, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, Gene, uh, yeah, Did, we're, we're gonna, yeah, this is, this is fun. I mean, People are saying in the chat room, of course, that Judge Janine uh, lies and spews falsehoods for a living. Yeah, she's on Fox. This is what we know. This. All right. So, Judge Janine, why? What are you? Biden administration? Are you stupid or crazy? Let's find out. I need to know. He even went beyond that, urging. Oh wait, hold on. Back up. You don't get to jump right in. Oh, now I, now I, now she's, now I feel judged. Don't you feel like she caught you in the middle of something? Jesus. And now Blinken even went beyond that, urging all UN member states to join in this effort to confront the scourge of racism, racial discrimination, and xenophobia. Blink what a horrible notion. Why would the United Nations work to try and dim limit racism in the world? How, I mean, talk about being off topic. Blinken added that the invitation to the UN Special Rapporteur on contemporary forms of racism and the UN Special Rapporteur on Minority Issues was a first step in a plan to issue a standing invitation to all UN experts who report on human rights issues in the United States. Now, let me see if I have this straight. I'm gonna guess you don't, but it's gonna, let me see. We're asking the UN to tell us how racist we are, the, okay? You invite people from the UN who hate mm -hmm. the United States. Okay, uh, citation needed. Is I mean, I don't know what membership uh, qualifications are required for the UN right now. Maybe it is hate the United States. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hello, Yugoslavia. Welcome. That's good. Um, let's see. Uh, have you, have you ever bombed anyone for oil? Yes. Okay, good. That's good. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, do you ever turn away boats full of migrants or uh, perhaps trains, I suppose, in your place? Yes. Okay, that's a check or whatever. That's uh, doing very well today. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, one last question. Do you hate the United States? Oh, good. Well, that's yes. Okay. So uh, you're in. I don't need the other ones. We don't even have to finish the questionnaire. <laughs> this is wonderful. To come here. Well, no, not to come here. They're going to do it from a distance. They have a, they have a special racism uh, microscope that they use, a satellite. It's basically like a racism Hubble that they'll just point at the United States. On our soil to judge us without concern for their bias, their hatred, their prejudice, and their outright opposition and his hostility to a democracy? To well, no. I mean, obviously... Uh, some, some of those are an ironic ask. I don't think we're going to get, like China, for example, or Russia, like if they were to come over here and they're like, yeah, wow, racist place you got here. You're like, yeah, you, you want to meet some Uyghurs? They, uh, they live here freely. Yeah. To judge us? Well, no, not us. You. Just you, Janine. <laughs> the whole UN is staring at you right now. I don't even know how you can walk around the streets of New York. So they could see out the window. Every time you look at the 
at the UN, Janine, somebody with binoculars goes, oh shit, dude, she caught me. <laughs> Never in history has this ever happened. Well, I mean, the UN's not been around that long, so a lot of firsts. You invite China that has one million Uyghurs in concentration camps to join. Well, no, I don't, I think, I, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that necessarily we're going to take... We'll take... Well, I get... This is the grain of salt list. Judge us. Cuba that's arresting journalists, beating and killing demonstrators who simply want food and liberty. Excuse me. I need to check something, if I may. Uh... See, UN, let's see if I can find this. UN human rights chief calls on Cuba to release protesters and journalists. That was probably a long time ago, though. July 16, 2021. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, Venezuela, absolutely. And Russia? Liberty to judge us. Venezuela, who tortures her. There's a, um, it's Venezuela, not Venezuela. That's a, that's a dude who used to be on Chico and the Man. Venezuela. He was a he was a Puerto Rican comic. He played a lot of South American characters. He's a very funny guy. Own citizens. Venezuela was talented. And Russia, run by a former KGB intel agent, where enemies of the government are poisoned or just disappear to judge us. But but I thought uh, but but if that leader compliments you, you should take it as a compliment that he considers you a friend and and, and an equal. I see. Why? What? Why? What's in this for you? What is in this for you, Blinken? Who do you work for? Yeah. The State Department. You invite our enemies to visit the United States and investigate whether there are human rights issues stemming from the George Floyd murder? Com well, no, actually. None of, none of those... None, emissaries from none of those countries are invited specifically to investigate legal matters in the United States. Pile information and, quote, report back to the world? Are you stupid or crazy? Oh, gosh. That's always the tough question. You know what I mean? I don't know. If I had a nickel for every time I was asked that question, I know you guys, ah, stupid, crazy, stupid, crazy, ah, go crazy. All right. You ask people with dirty hands to judge the most freedom-loving nation in the world. Well, yeah, I mean... Depends on what they got their hands dirty doing, I suppose. The country where people from those nations mm -hmm. risk their lives to come here. Right. And you invite them to address America's systemic racism against Africans and people of African descent in the context of law enforcement? Doesn't your Department of Justice do that? Why are you looking to corrupt foreign governments? To yeah, why uh, well, corrupt foreign governments? Judge if we're racist. Why don't you just write? Oh, why are you looking to corrupt foreign judges to, to judge us? Not why are you looking to corrupt foreign? <clears throat> the report now. We all know what the narrative you want. To yeah. To cement is and. Yeah, we want some Russians going. Man, look at all the racism here. This is terrible. How do you even allow this to happen to all the black people that you actually have in your country? Why can't you have racial peace like we have in my country, where we have nearly no non-white Russian with? Why can't you have a singular ethno state like us and and China and Cuba and largely Venezuela, although mixture being what it is probably, I don't know. I have to talk to that guy. And what the report will ultimately say, it's the United Nations simply putting its imprimatur on your 1619 project. It's not his. That's that's from a New York Times. And by the way. Oh, well, thanks. By the way, how are you going to compile this information? Probably with a, with a computer. Under what authority do foreigners collect additional information? Will they be going into police departments around the country demanding statistics and information? Yeah, but they're going to need a translator or something. Because I don't, I don't know that the Minneapolis Third Precinct actually nobody there speaks Chinese. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe a couple people. Will they be doing interviews? No, not with you. Do police have the right to refuse to answer questions? By do 
does everyone have to have a giant flag gif floating behind them? Members of foreign countries? Mm -hmm. Under what authority do they even receive the information? I think they all become sheriffs like Steven Seagal. Who will review the information to find, uh, I will. find out whether there is evidence to support their final report? And have you no confidence in the American system of justice? The one that after a jury trial of his peers convicted Derek Chauvin of murder? That's not enough for you? What about the federal government that's monitoring several police departments around the country? What about that? That's not enough for you? you well, clearly not. I mean, what if, the, what if the evil cops that are operating in those places are Russians who speak Chinese and they are closet commies? I think I got everybody. Communist China's input. Sorry, socialist commies. What? Communist Cuba's approval? You're like an idiotic, simplistic, naive, woke loser. How, how like one is he? I mean, is it a style thing? Why don't you just call him that? Those, I mean, you're using epithets. Why don't, why don't you just... You're a naive... What, what, where's the like part come in? You know what? I like your jacket. It's kind of a naive, woke loser look. You're not doing anything but creating division nationally and internationally. And sp uh -huh. speaking of Cuba... Yeah, nothing creates division like bringing on the United Nations. Why aren't you taking measures if you're so into protecting the rights of the downtrodden and making sure that no one suffers from bias? Why aren't you supporting the Cuban people 90 miles away from our shore? So it's a NIMBY thing. Why is your Homeland Secretary, Mayorkas, saying not only the Cuban refugees should not come here, but that if they do, they'll be returned? Because that's the policy for illegal immigrants regardless. And, you know, and we, we, will, we will have <sighs> refugee and, uh, and, and never mind. Are you in favor of Cuba, a Marxist communist nation? So probably, that's probably why. Probably, he's, he's basically like, he, stay in Cuba. We're sending all Americans there. We're going to put every, um, uh, nah, not all the Americans, just the maggots. We're going to put them all in Guantanamo. Supported by another Marxist organization, Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. Why would you let people from the southern border in, but not the Cubans? They don't. Could it be the Cubans are Republicans and they will turn Florida a solid red so you have to stop them? Well, no, there's, I mean... If all of them came to Florida, it, would, it wouldn't change the state hardly at all. You invite a scandal-ridden organization, the United... Like Fox News. United Nations with its... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was mistaken. ...own history of corruption to come here and judge us? The United Nations that has over 100 resolutions condemning the state of Israel? The huh? one democracy in the Middle East. The same United Nations... Yeah, but th that's the thing about democracies is you can criticize them when they go wrong. That's kind of also what makes them important and good. With its peacekeeping force that failed to stop the massacre of more than 8,000 men and boys by Bosnian forces. The same United Nations with its oil for food scandal or sex abuse scandals by UN peacekeepers. UN peacekeepers in Haiti fathered hundreds of babies, then abandoned the mothers. Which part are you upset about? Peacekeepers in Haiti occurred. The UN, where millions of dollars in cash were funneled to aid North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. Everyone knows what the United Nations is. It's a united group of nations. And the U.S. is asking the United Nations, a cesspool of political bias, to come into the United States and investigate us on human rights. We look so ridiculous. In Wait. So, Janine, your, your entire monologue is just based off of this clip of her saying this already? So you just plagiarized every all the shit we've just watched? That's what this is? In the eyes of the world right now. And remember. And remember, don't watch the rest of her interview because that's where I'm getting the rest of my opening monologue from. It was the UN World Health Organization that lied to us about the COVID-19 pandemic. Coronavirus cover up underscores China's tight grip on who United Nations. Who reported that though? What uh, what what news organization? Um, uh, how do they feel about vaccines and stuff like that? As a as a group, I mean, as a general, how are we supposed to? All right. Pandemic mimicking the CCP talking points. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you may think the end game here will be the UN labeling the United Station of the United States. Yes, the United Station. That's what we're the United Station of gas. United States as a state station. What's the difference? Racist, oppressive nation. That certainly will happen. But it goes beyond identity. Yeah, but when some people say it, it'll be funny. <laughs> Find the United States as a racist nation and cementing the Democrat narrative, they will recommend reparations. This week, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, uh -huh. Michelle Bachelet, urged a wide range of reparations over racism and has urged countries to fully fund a wide range of reparation measures to address the legacies of slavery, colonial rule, and racial discrimination. Is she returning that necklace, though? Because it looks culturally appropriated, I'm just saying. Yes. It will go beyond identifying the United States as... Wait a minute. They're going to recommend something? Hold the... F I mean... <laughs> Recommendations? Eek. It's a racist nation. The drumbeat has begun. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Um. Um. Sorry. Say, say that again, Judge Deneen. I'm the United States as a racist nation. The drumbeat has begun. <laughs> um. Okay, I, uh, yeah, we watched the whole thing and I don't know what she's talking about still. I'm, I'm completely lost. I mean, I'm, I know we're supposed to, uh, it, is this, is this one of those like lead up pieces where we're all going to talk about Jade Helm later? Is that what this is? We're supposed to panic about the UN? Belgium.